Hello, I've been to India many times now and um, touch wood, I've never been ill. I've never had deli belly or food poisoning. Um, now, that's not to say that I'm not very lucky. I suppose I have been, because I have been quite a few times. But it's also because I take simple precautions. Now, this is what I do. You can do what you think you ought to do. This will apply not only to India, but to places out in the Far East or wherever. But I think it'll work because it works for me and it has worked so far. Right, number one is I take probiotics, which put the right kind of bacteria in your gut. Now, I don't take these religiously the whole time, but if I know I'm going to India, I tend to take them regularly before I go and while I'm there. Um, there are various types. Um, I don't really have a particular one that I go to. I buy them from my local health shop and um, so far seems to work. Also, on the same kind of thing, in India, especially in North India, Rajasthan, places like that, if you have a tali, as they call them, you will have um, your yogurt, also called curd. With all of that being said, we like the curds. It normally contains live bacteria. So that's good. So always eat that. It's the natural way to keep yourself done. Right, number two, very important. Wash your hands before you eat. Um, because it's not just the washing the hands, it's keeping the hands clean between washing them and eating. So, for example, it's no good washing your hands and then pulling a load of money out of your pocket because you're going to get them filthy again. I always carry liquid sanitizer around with me, which looks a bit... Um, but I'd rather look a bit... go down with food poisoning. So, but from the time you wash your hands, the time you sit down and eat, don't touch things like the door handle and things like that. That's one reason why Indian people eat with one hand. It's the hand you're most comfortable with. It's not, it doesn't have to be the right hand, obviously, because people are left-handed and right-handed. So when you're washing your hands and you've washed your hands, use soap, then the hand you think about the hand that you will eat with, in my case, the right hand, and keep that hand, hand clean. So if you're going out of the bathroom or wherever it is you wash your hands, open the door with your left hand, sit at the table, pull your chair back, all those sort of things, use your left hand. I always keep my fingernails quite, quite short. Good thing to do. And then make sure you wash them when you do it. So anyway, that's the second thing is washing your hands. Um, the third thing is, of course, is water. In India, a lot of, well, it depends where you are in India, in the south, especially Kerala, a lot of the water comes out of springs and it's, um, I am told, and I, I believe them, it's, it's okay to drink. It's certainly, I never drank it really, well, not knowingly when I was in Kerala, but I certainly brushed my teeth in that water. Now, in somewhere like Rajasthan or, or Delhi or whatever, I would not brush my teeth using the water out of the, the tap. People tell me you can, but I think it's a little bit of a risk. I tend to use bo bottled water. I always drink out of the bottled water. And when you go into restaurants, especially when you're a Westerner in India, they will normally give you a bottle of water. They will charge you for it, which is no big deal. It's probably like a litre of 30 rupees, which is like, so it's probably 30 pence or 40 cents. That's what I meant. So anyway, so it's nothing. Four, eat in popular restaurants. So you've got a place and it's packed and, and seething with local people and they've got their children there, you know it's going to be okay. Same goes for street food. If you go to a stall and there's a queue of people and there's all people standing around it, drinking chai and eating snacks, whatever, then you can bet that'll be okay. And also, there's another thing about this is, the fact is the more people use a place, the higher the turnover will be. So you've not got stuff lying around all day attracting the sun and the flies or whatever it's just cooked eaten and another thing is street food is normally safer for you believe it or not than a lot of more places like because they tend to cook things in very hot oil there and then so you cook blah, 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 um, samosa zing dong there you are there's your hot samosa straight out of the oil 
that will not be be germy unless there's something lurking inside it which is very uh, unlikely but if you go to say a mcdonald's now i hear that most people go to india and eat at mcdonald's or burger king or kfc which i don't understand why people would but they do there, the, I've noticed that the more people who tell me they got food poisoning or Delhi belly when they were in India had just been to a McDonald's or a Burger King. Now, this may be because the standard of hygiene is not as good in a Burger King or McDonald's as it is in like a person's local restaurant where he is personally in charge and it's like his place and he looks after it and he works there and makes sure things clean. It, it might be that, and also it might be the fact that if you, if you go to any McDonald's in the world, you'll see things standing around for ages under hot lamps. Now, no matter where you are, that can't be good, okay? Now, the third thing is, I'm talking about me going to India and not having food poisoning or things. I am a veg vegetarian. I occasionally eat fish, but less and less, actually. But... Um, I don't think I've had it in India, fish in India. I don't think I ever have. Not that I wouldn't. Oh, no, I did when I went to, to Kerala. It's hard not to there. So I had a lot of shellfish and a lot of fish in Kerala, and I was okay. But generally speaking, I am a vegetarian. And I tell you what, I would say off the top of my head that you're 90 percent less likely to catch anything bad if you're a vegetarian. I noticed that Carl Rock... A New Zealand man who now lives in India, who is now an Indian, I think, has married an Indian Indian woman. He gets food poisoning about every six months, he says. Now, he does eat meat, so you can take from that what you will. Um, and also, he's the sort of guy that, if he is ill, he will go out and have a load of antibiotics. Now, I, again, if I do get a bit of... Well, when I'm in India, I have had... Um, minor stomach things, I mean minor things like maybe a bit of gurgling or whatever. I tend to, if that happens, not go out and have a load of antibiotics or go to the pharmacy and have something chemical. I tend to just chew a piece of ginger. Because that's another thing. Going back to the water again, you've got to be careful about things like salads. You've got to think, what is something going to be washed in now if you're having a side salad in a hotel chances are it'll be washed in bottled water maybe not but in a small place it'll be washed with the water out of the tap so you've got to be careful about that but what is being washed they're not washing onions well if they are it's a bit weird but nobody really washes onions so onion salad is normally good to eat um things like lettuce i wouldn't eat to be honest because it was probably being washed in tap water. But again, you go to um, street stalls and everything there would have been would have been washed in tap water or out of pump or standpipe. Another thing is that sometimes you get a, a plate handed to you and it might be a bit wet. Now, I suggest you might want to wipe that plate because the chances are, again, that's been washed in tap water. It's been in a sink with lo loads of other stuff. And then going back to the vegetarian thing, um, even if you, I tend to go to vegetarian places now. Meat eaters will say, "Oh, I want to eat my meat." But to be honest with you, the best food you will get in India is the vegetarian food because it's been well, it is the best food you'll get in India. And frankly, you could live well. I could live my whole life without eating meat. But I mean, I, certainly, you could live for two or three weeks in India on on the on the variety of vegetarian food that you will find. Um, so, so again, if you're in in, in a big posh hotel where they do meat as well as vegetarian, your sweet point is asking for vegetarian just for the sake of it, because everything in that kitchen, even though they will have separate areas, because in India they are quite um, quite strict about um, vegetarian and not vegetarian, but it's in the same place. So chances are certain people in the kitchen will be cooking with meat and maybe touching surfaces, Go, um, the sink etc and the people who cook in the vegetables will be touching the same surfaces so there will be transference so if you're in a really posh hotel a five star hotel for example you might as well and you eat meat you might as well eat the meat I think um, if that's what you want to do so it would be pointless just to eat vegetarian for the sake of it though I would recommend that the vegetarian will probably be nicer I tend to eat in places that say pure veg in India because that's where it's just pure veg and 
and I tend to find that's the nicest food. So that's how I um, avoid food poisoning and deli belly when I'm in India. Uh, I hope you find it useful and I think it'll help you. If you um, have got any ideas of your own, please drop a comment down below. If you like this, please like it down below and please subscribe as I'll be doing more videos about India, about health and that kind of thing and um, other things in my life. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.